previously on Sailing Aquarius. So this is their version of Club Fed right here. And this is Saint Tropez. Well, we got our dinghy motor up. Got a dinghy all aboard. We are heading to Spain. God, that water is clear, man. So let's do a walk around. We got our fenders all inside. Oop. Zubilla already got the lights off. Looks like the walk around is looking pretty good. Yep, the lights off the front. I think everything is looking good. Sometimes we get uh, this all mixed up. Gotta make sure that your line's on the outside. Looks like everything is looking pretty nice. Oh, I gotta drop that down. That was one of the things I needed to do. If you do a proper walk around, you usually find something. Huh? Is there a battery charger? Um, no, that's, that's fine. We're just gonna turn this one off, turn all the power off, and then uh, shut it down. Okay, now that one will click back on in a couple seconds, but uh, I need to go down in the engine room and click it over. We already checked the oil, checked the transmission fluid, just changed the oil yesterday, or the day, actually the day before yesterday. So the only thing that we need to do is switch this back over, check our bilge pump. Everything's looking good. It looks good down below. Battery should all be good. We are ready to go. So that's what it looks like in front of us. We're getting ready to go. And this, my friends, is an Echo Pilot, which we swear by. Love that thing. And uh, we are headed to Spain, right in about here someplace. Sounds like an anchor alarm's going off. Everything is looking great. Get into a little bit deeper water. And we are off. Our journey to Spain, what do you think, babe? Next step. Next step, yes, next step. You are right. Our batteries got a little low last night. Yes. Because we made so much water. How much water do we have? About 500? Uh, we got 450 right now, but we made, we got up to about 500, but we used 440 liters yesterday. Which is nice about to make right. your own water, right? Yeah, I've been, been making that soda water too with our soda stream. Ay, 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 lucky man. I am so lucky to have me. Exactly. So if you leave in the comments below if you think I'm a lucky man. I have a one request for you guys. We are a couple months away to finish circumnavigation. Fingers crossed. And we would like you to ask to subscribe if you haven't done so. We would really like to have 50,000 K subscribers. Please subscribe. Thank you. So anyways, I'm very happy about moving on. We're leaving France and we're heading to Spain. But it's not because I didn't like like uh, France because France was a pretty nice place, but it's just time to go. What do you think? I actually liked France and uh, we made a lot of friends. We saw so many MLs. So many. <laughs> well, it is France, and they're made in France. Goodbye, France. We had a great time. But on to new destinations. Spain. Next stop. You think he's 
going for a new boat or something? Uh, I think he's late to get a new boat in the Cannes Boat Show. How's our passage so far? A lot of motoring. We thought that we would have about five hours of motoring and then we were going to get some wind, but we've been motoring for five hours and we haven't got any wind. Oh, yeah, but it looks like it's just starting. Yeah, the wind started blowing a little bit more consistently. But so, it's blowing the wrong way right now. Yeah, that's where we are. That's what the winds are doing. But we saw whales first time like that. We would see the whales a little ha more haphazardly. But this way, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And the good thing is they are not the killer whales. They are not the orcas. Yeah, that would suck getting hit by killer whales right here. supposed to be here. Yeah, we're a long way from the killer whales. Well, we got a couple dolphins coming over to say hi. How's the trip going? Motoring again. What's up with that wind? We looked at this wind. We've been watching the wind for a while to be in Barcelona on a certain time. And this wind even looked better this morning. And we take off. So we got 15 knots apparent. On the nose we're doing 5 knots, so we got 10 knots. Maybe off the nose a little bit, but it's pretty much on the nose. Can't sail on this. We got one sail up which is the main, that will help a little bit, but uh, not looking good. But fingers crossed, we still have about 86 nautical miles to go. Yeah, I think the wind will change in a little while. Yeah. One, two, three. Everywhere we go, kids in the water, learning how to sail. Isn't that awesome? Spain. There is one nice thing about sailing in the Med. You don't have to check in and check out of all the countries all the time. Isn't that nice? So we show up in Spain and what do we do? We just like show up. We go to look for a SIM card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let's get ashore, see what there is to see. There's beautiful Aquarius right in front of this lovely town. Attempt number two to buy SIM cards. Yesterday we found the street where in a short distance there are at least five stores that sell sim cards because it's sunday it was closed so today early we're taking off on our second attempt but the city is so pretty 
Beautiful mountains, palm trees, waters. What do you think? I don't think I look as good as Jiville. So I think I'll just stay off the camera. So how is the Spanish internet? Did you get it? I think it's a little bit better than um, the French internet. What do you think? I think it's much better. Okay, well then, you know better than me because you were on a phone call with your mom. Yes, so in the French Riviera, we were having troubles, especially when we are on the islands. It was difficult. One time we had to move both one hour one way or actually one mile one way just to upload an internet so here we've been cruising in these amazing places and the internet was good was it expensive 20 euros for 100 gigabytes that's not bad 120 gigabytes oh I missed that 20 gigabyte addition. Yeah. 120 gigabytes, 20 euros. I think that's a very, very good price. Although we didn't need it that much because, because, because we're gonna be going to US. We're going home for a little bit. Because, 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 because the wonderful things we do. We are waiting for our guests to visit us in Barcelona. Then uh, we will be uh, going around Spain for a little bit. And now we're going to home. See you there, maybe. Pretty cool. Woohoo! There are some sailboats around us. That looks like a rhino nose. You can see a nose, a head, and little ear. We are about to meet our friends on Aquarius in Barcelona. We are again on a schedule. It's another 80 plus miles to Barcelona and we got to go. We will not be sailing much in Spain as it's getting chilly, especially at nights. But most importantly, it's not the easiest place to find suitable anchorages. The coast is pretty straight, without bays and islands, which is quite rolly, but the coast is absolutely spectacular. Also, booking marinas for a couple of nights at a time is quite costly, even in the low season. So we opted for a monthly contract. Therefore, we soak every minute of this beautiful sail. It's so big. I'm in the wrong country. Who's that? 
Found some cannons? No, I was looking for a new anchor. <laughs> that would be a perfect anchor for Aquarius. Aquarius has some merry company. And although it looked like a good anchorage, as you can see, it's still pretty rolly. Did you want more coffee? Who made you coffee this morning? My name. We are taking off from, what's the name of the city? Blarry. Blaine. 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 This was a short sail. A couple hours later, we arrived to Barcelona suburbs, where we will tuck in Aquarius in the marina. Next on Sailing Aquarius. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, Click one of those.